Prime Minister likes to say that he takes foreign interference in our elections seriously, but in fact, he's embraced it. This started with a $200,000 donation to the Trudeau Foundation, and it has ballooned into a large clandestine transfer of funds from the dictatorship in Beijing to influence Canadian elections. The Prime Minister has known about Beijing's influence in two federal elections in Canada, and he's done nothing about it. Will the Prime Minister please explain why he has allowed Beijing's influence into Canadian elections to escalate? According to Global News, Canadian security officials gave officials in the Prime Minister's office a classified and urgent briefing weeks before the 2019 election. This briefing was a stark warning to the Liberals that one of their candidates was compromised and allegedly part of Beijing's uh, influence network. The Prime Minister did nothing. In fact, this candidate was still allowed to run, despite those stark warnings. Can the Prime Minister say who that candidate was, and is he a member of his current cabinet or caucus? The pig symbolizes good fortune, honesty, and success. And there's nothing quite like the Lunar New Year. What a great way to celebrate not only new beginnings, but entire communities that have contributed so much to our country for generations. 2019, Canadian security officials gave a briefing to the Prime Minister's office that a Liberal candidate was implicated in Beijing's foreign interference network, and yet the Prime Minister turned a blind eye to potential interference in the federal election. And even yesterday, Canadian security officials said everyone plays a key role in protecting Canada's democracy from foreign interference, including the Prime Minister. So will the Prime Minister unveil who in his office was briefed about a compromised Liberal candidate? And will he unmuzzle his Chief of Staff and let her testify at the committee? That being said, we need to recognize today and every day that our past is far from perfect and we need to learn from those lessons. Constitute some of the most shameful chapters in our history. We are fortunate to live in a country where our rights are enshrined in our Constitution where our freedoms are entrenched in our laws. The Charter of Rights and Freedoms ensures that all Canadians can speak their mind, practice their faith, and stand up for what they believe in. Because as we all know, a Canadian is a Canadian is a Canadian.